Okay, here is my dilemma with the Canyon build. Um, I do not have rims for it as of yet, but I have Silverado wheels that I can put on it, six lug. But the problem is this is a Canyon wheel bearing hub. Front and rear are the same. And this diameter is bigger than the Silverado center hub, which I will show you in a moment when I get down there. So I am gonna try and cut the rim, the circumference, in the center of the Silverado rim and see if I can get them to fit flush against the hub surface. See, because you can't, once you put a Silverado wheel on here, it sits like this. And it, there's a quarter inch spot, or a little bit better than quarter inch spot. So the rim's sitting like this, basically. We want it to sit flush. So, let me remove the camera around and point it down. And we're gonna probably have to drill a hole as a starting spot and then we will use a plasma cutter and just follow the lip around and set on, on the rim. So that's what we're gonna try. It might work, it might not. It's a junk rim anyway. This is the one of the rims I'm gonna use, but um, let me pause you guys for a minute and I'll get set up and we'll, we'll give it a whirl. gonna kind of try and freehand this. I don't think it's gonna work, to tell you the truth, but we're gonna cut over and I'm just gonna kind of just follow this diameter. So let's give it a shot. stops like that. And they have to call Amazon. And ask them. Maybe they'll send me out another one. I don't know. It shouldn't stop like that. It should keep firing. And it's not like I'm not moving fast enough because when I move faster it it doesn't cut all the way through. So
that is going to work. I just need to clean up where the lugs are to square them off a little bit. And I think that's going to work out. Huh. Let me, uh, let me just clean them up a little bit. And I think that's going to work out. Let me see. the other rims I got for the time being because I am going to buy Krager eight holes because the problem is when you put Ford Explorer rear in the canyon the Ford Explorer rear is five lug and the front wheels are going to be six lug so I'm going to have to buy uh, Krager Steelys eight holes five lug pattern for the rear of the car 15 by 10 and then I'll get like a 15 by 8 6 lug for the canyon for the front but for now I, I don't want to have to make two drive shafts you know put the Explorer rear in and then make a drive shaft for the 4 cylinder and a 4L60E that's in it because once I put the V8 and then the 4080 in, I'm gonna have to make another drive shaft. So that's that's ridiculous. So I'll just take the Silverado wheels, cut the centers until I get everything all ready, and then I'll do all everything all at once. I'll put the V8 in, I'll put the LS in, I'll put the 4080E, I'll have the drive shaft made for the Ford Explorer rear, and then and we'll be uh, we'll be ready. We're ready to start testing and racing and dyno pulls and all kinds of crazy stuff but so that's the that's today's video that worked awesome it's gonna work out fine sweet and it, I can't believe how set it actually centered in the center of the hub and that'll be fine for what I need to do for just for a few weeks so okay good video <laughs>